It's been over two years since I provided an update about the new HS2 station which is being constructed on the outskirts of Birmingham. The new interchange station will be connected to the NEC, Birmingham International and Birmingham Airport. It will also act as a sort of parkway station but I know that term has gone out of favour recently. The plans for the station do however include large car parks. In terms of progress of the station, there isn't much to see and the final details of the design are still being finalised, but there are visible signs of progress since I last visited. Work is also continuing on the bridge that will take the track under the A45 Coventry Road just to the south of the station. But before we look at some of the progress and upcoming work, I thought it'd be worth looking again at the purpose of interchange and how it will link with the existing rail network. The station will be approximately 20 kilometers from Curzon Street, following the HS2 route, or 14 kilometers from the city center as the crow flies. One of the main purposes of the station will be to serve Birmingham Airport, but it will also connect to Birmingham International via an automated people mover providing connections across the eastern part of Birmingham, the West Midlands and to Coventry. Interchange is also conveniently situated just off the M42, which will provide access for people from Solihull. Although arguably it may be better for passengers who live close to Solihull station to travel to Moore Street to connect with HS2 services at Curzon Street. However, Interchange will be a more convenient station for many passengers living in the southeast of Birmingham and west of Coventry. Passengers served by the West Coast Main Line between Birmingham New Street and Coventry will be able to access the new station via the automated people mover, which will be constructed between the airport, international, the NEC and interchange. Two companies were invited to bid for the tender to supply, operate and maintain the people mover in February this year with POMA SAS and Doppelmeyer Cable Car UK Limited called to submit tenders. Doppelmeyer already has experience here in the UK operating Luton Dart. The £269 million contract is for the design, supply and installation of the cable pulled operating system in addition to the maintenance and operation of the system for 25 years. It's proposed that there will be services every three minutes, with a journey time from interchange to the airport of around six minutes. The Birmingham International stop will be after the NEC and before the airport, so I'm assuming the journey time from interchange to international will be in the region of four to five minutes. The People Mover will run on a 2.2 km long viaduct, which will cross the M42, Pendigo Lake, the West Coast Main Line and Bickenhill Lane before reaching the airport. The People Mover is a vital part of the plans for interchange, providing onward travel options via rail and air. My only concern would be if it follows the same model as Luton Dart, which costs £4.90 one way, but we don't know yet if passengers will have to pay to use the interchange People Mover. People may be wondering why I'm referring to the station as Interchange, as despite the now visible but premature road signs saying Birmingham Interchange, the name has yet to be decided. It has been proposed that a consultation will take place before the final name is decided, with the name expected to reflect the area which it serves and separates it from Birmingham Curzon Street. So, as things stand, HS2 Limited are just referring to the station as Interchange. Although the design of the station is still being finalised, it will have four platform faces located on two islands, with a set of bypass tracks running down the middle for non-stopping services. It was revealed recently that the contract for platform edge doors for HS2 through stations has been abandoned. Therefore, interchange, which will see trains passing through on the bypass lines at high speed, will not have platform edge doors. The calling pattern is yet to be decided, but it's likely that all services from Birmingham to London will stop at the station, while maybe one out of three services from Manchester to London will stop at interchange. 
The current indicative service pattern suggests that services from Liverpool and Glasgow will not call at interchange. Obviously, if HS2 Phase 2 to Manchester and Leeds were constructed, then the station would have been served by more trains. But, as it stands, the station will only be served by four HS2 trains per hour in each direction. Although, this is subject to change, as the service frequency and calling patterns have not been finalised. In terms of construction progress, there isn't a great deal to see, but a lot of earth moving has been carried out over the last two years and a road bridge, which will span the station and connect two car parks, is now visible. Much of the work which has taken place over the last six years or so has been to reconfigure the road network, to make way for the new tracks and to build new link roads to the station. The work to reconfigure the roads around the station is largely complete. However, one major road bridge is still under construction. A new span which will take Eastway over HS2 has now been built and the connector road realigned over the new structure. Service road which is on the other side of the A45 is being built offline, similar to how the Eastway bridge was constructed. This connector road is expected to be realigned over the new bridge next year. The A45 itself is a busy and vital link between Coventry and Birmingham so every effort is being made to keep the dual carriageway open. This means the bridge deck is being constructed in stages, much like the A35 bridge in Litchfield. The structure for the eastbound carriageway will be constructed first, followed by the remainder of the structure for the westbound carriageway. To carry out the work, the live carriageway will have to be realigned to make space for construction to take place. Then, once the bridge sections have been completed, the carriageway will be further realigned over the new structure, with construction of the A45 Coventry Road Bridge expected to be completed by 2028. Although construction of the station itself has not yet started, a lot of the groundwork has been done, and in terms of HS2 stations, interchange should be relatively straightforward to build. As it stands, the Balfour Beatty Vinci Joint Venture, constructing HS2 in the West Midlands, are working on the basis that interchange will open at the same time as the core section between Old Oak Common and Curzon Street. With the project still subject to the reset, this could change, but it seems fairly obvious that the station structure and tracks need to be in place as a minimum before the core section can open. As for the opening date, that seems to be anyone's guess, but estimates are now suggesting that the core section of HS2 will open in 2035 or 36. Just before I go, could I ask that if you've enjoyed this video or found it informative, that you please give it a like, as it helps my content to get noticed, and consider subscribing if you haven't already.